another action packed out of control. And here's just a short taster of some of that action. On today's show, stops just in the nick of time. Well, for the cameraman anyway. Doesn't stop at all. At least not before we'd run out of tape. And probably shouldn't have started. I think that he's just won the Hopers Tosser of the Week award. No contest. But first, what are this lot waiting for? It's the Finns, of course. And once again, after the top seeds make it look like a summer's stroll along Blackpool Promenade, there's not too much of a wait before things start to get interesting. driving that determines the difference between a nearly and a definitely. Some of course were always going to make it. Others never really had a chance. Look, it's quite simple. You just do this and it opens. Listen, do you think you could give us a lift? As the unfortunate crew concentrate on slowing down the pursuing field, the hordes flock to inspect the carnage, whilst not really doing anything useful. This car goes off like a rocket to the moon. And once they've successfully completed the off, they're all revved up to get back on track for another go. And no one's going to stop them. Then, having made such a determined effort to get going, he calmly trundles off again, as if it's all just a walk in the park. Should have left it where it was, mate. This one, however, I shouldn't think will be going anywhere for some time. Well, if this poor driver wasn't dazed after the accident, I'm sure he is now. Hey, stop! Give us a lift and I'll lend you my pace notes. Not that they're any use, you understand. Anyone heading for Helsinki? Mad as a bag of peanuts, a lot of them. It had to happen really, didn't it?
166 cars gone through and this is the biggest smash yet. to resemble a scrapyard and take a quick peek at what looks suspiciously like a banger racing. But without the racing. Actually, this is a single venue event on an airfield that could be just about anywhere. And it's a damn good job those tyres are there. Perhaps he's trying to nick it as a spare. Or perhaps he's just looking for the nearest park and ride. I wouldn't park my bike there though, would you? Tyres just get in the way really, don't they? Well then, not a problem for this guy. He appears to spin 360 degrees without hitting even one. Well, almost. And here's a chap who could have done with the tyre getting in the way. Or a wheel. And probably some new brake discs by the time he's finished. And look at the car driver, bless him. Still telling the driver which way to go. Have you got a puncture, Bob? Now that's devotion for you. And now onto some British forest stages where it seems to be harvest time. This Bob, Bob. There's a lot of debate at the moment about whether rallying is safer with or without pace notes. Well, this is what happens when you haven't got pace notes. Can't help thinking they'd love every minute of this, can you? Well, that was all pretty spectacular, wasn't it? Let's move on now for a few tamer moments from Scotland. Some people try to make it look difficult, don't they? Perhaps he's hoping it'll get stuck there so he doesn't have to go any further. Well, it worked for this one. Anything to get on television. Some, like Tolkien Dolly Bird here, even become television presenters. And also, like rally drivers, some of us presenters are better at their jobs than others. We'll have a short break now, but just before that, here are a few clips from part two. Hello, 
all welcome back and without any further ado let's get straight on with the action with some crazy antics from the Scottish Rally. Sometimes you just get lucky. And other times it's a cameraman who should be grateful for small mercies. Of course the luck has to run out somewhere. There's always a sickly feeling when you witness an accident like this one. But you can rest assured that, as ever, none of the accidents featured on Out of Control result in any serious injury, except perhaps to a few egos. When you watch this, though, don't you feel yourself moving away from the telly? I know I do. Now let's move on to something a bit more light-hearted. Yes, it's our regular slot for budding comedians turned rally drivers. Now it's time for another favourite. It's back to those flying fins again. And true to form, things are getting progressively worse. Well, I suppose that was a better idea than rolling over in a big heap and making a fool of yourself. 
like this. Uh, couldn't we get a bit of a move on, chaps? I think the car might be on fire. just never stops. Well, I think those boys could fill a series on their own. But let's come back over to Britain where a bit of a bump is providing all the entertainment. Yeah. Well, OK, that is a bit more than a bit of a bump. That's a lot of a bump. But you wouldn't think a bit of a bump like this would cause so many problems. With plenty of spectators around, there shouldn't be too much trouble getting this Persia out of the way, should there? The wheel's right in the arch, mate. It's right in the arch. I think you broke your steering, actually. Well off the road now, that. Miles away. That's what he thinks. marked in the road books this and that's why all these cars are having such trouble something you don't expect is always likely to cause more trouble than something you do expect and so we see damaged bodywork damaged drive shafts and damaged everything as these drivers struggle to keep control show now but first let's have a quick reminder of a few of the most spectacular incidents from today with this week's top 10 <laughs>
Thanks for watching. Join us again when once more we'll be completely out of control. But just before we go, here are a few clips to keep you in the mood until the next show. Find out how he found himself there. Those Finns try their hands at a spot of night rallying with predictable yet disastrous consequences. And who stays on? Who goes off? You decide.